Assalamualaikum guys my name is Abdul Mohit Malik and I hope you are all doing good today i will tell you about russian doll principle but before that we need to have a look on what russian dolls are basically russian dolls are also called nested dolls or matryoshka matryoshka is a word derived from latin which ultimately means mother after the uh, introduction of the russian dolls let me tell you what russian doll principle is basically it is a research method which is used to identify or analyze a research problem uh, first of all i will tell i I've, i've told you what uh, russian doll principle is now i will give you an introduction of it russian doll principle can be uh, utilized in qualitative as well as qualitative analysis and it is done for large scale research as well as small scale uh, research for large scale research we can done it do it in the form of surveys written surveys maybe or telephonic surveys and for small uh, small scale surveys we can conduct it by the help of the interviews which can be conducted one on one okay uh now let me tell you how we conduct a uh, russian doll principle uh, research method this is also known as onion peeling method uh for example we have a core problem a core research problem uh for example if i take the example of uh, the status quo uh, we are having online classes and this is the main focus of every single student these days if i want to conduct a research on this first of all i will select a population or a sample and then i will uh, decide whether i am going for a large scale survey or a small scale survey if i am going for a large scale survey definitely i'll be constructing the questions uh, according to the type of survey i am going and i'll uh, probably make a uh, questionnaire for large scale sc- survey but for a small scale survey i'll choose a student uh, to whom i would interview Okay for in, for this uh, example for this case I I'll be selecting the students of a university maybe 1000 students and then I will uh, my core objective or my core research problem is to know whether they are satisfied with the online classes and the way teachers are teaching them basically this is my core problem and uh, this is what I need to uh, the students answer uh the the problem which i am trying to investigate and there is a prop uh, there is a proper way uh, by how i will ask them this question i will not directly ask them whether they are satisfied with in this in this specific uh, principle which i am using to conduct my research i will not directly ask them about my core objective first of all i'll build up a scenario i'll move uh, i'll narrow down my objective with the help of multiple questions which will be covering different uh, areas of fields uh, for example i select my sample i start inter, uh, interviewing them with uh, for example i need to ask them whether they are satisfied with the online classes first of all i will ask them whether they are liking this method or not this would be my first question in this array uh, then after that i'll move to my second question which is just similar to the peeling of an onion if we remove the upper layer of the onion we'll get a new layer and if we remove that one by one step by step we'll get into the core of that onion and that core is my core question the my core and uh, objective which i need the uh, students to answer so my questioning one by one to them is just similar to peeling the layers of that onion and getting to the core of the onion then i'll ask whether they have the suitable devices for that type of education which they are getting these days is the internet these are the questions these are the multiple questions just like those seven dolls if we unfold the bigger doll we'll get another doll which is smaller in size and when we'll open that doll we'll get another doll which is in smaller size my questions are similar to those do dolls which are i'm which i am unfolding and asking the questions this is parallel to that uh, dolls and this this indicates the link between the russian dolls or the nested dolls and the russian principle okay coming back to the uh, questions which i was asking my first question was whether they are liking this method or not which was the first layer of my uh, research then i'll ask them whether they have the appropriate devices for this type of education then i'll ask them whether they are getting the information mission and the knowledge which their teachers are trying to impart on them this is a way the through which i'll i'll peel peel the scenarios and i'll peel the layer of the onions i should use i should say the word 
onions as I've quoted the example of the onion or maybe those seven dolls which I which I'm opening one by one in order to get to the smallest doll of the line uh, this is how I question them now the be beauty of this type of research is that I uh, indirectly am get getting question to multiple other questions which can which could arise due to the, these online classes as well as I'm directly getting to my answer which I wanted them to uh, which I personally wanted to know whether that they are satisfied with the online classes so this is how we conduct a Russian doll principle in our research methods and I hope I've got my points clear to you guys thank you for listening to me Allah Hafiz